what is up guys uh, welcome to another video um, first thing you've noticed it's not panda magic anymore uh, I changed the name um, it's not that I didn't want to change it it's just that um well it's it was a not that I sound kiddish because there are companies that are like penguin magic and that's an actual company it's a it's a very thriving company that sells magic and does magic props or whatever um but it was a, a, a time in my life um, that extended and you know I've done stuff I was a kid obviously but I had to grow up maybe wondering what happened whoa, whoa this past year you haven't uploaded or anything um, of course it's a small channel and I started in 2017, I think. About 2017. Um, now it's almost three years later, and I have like 140 people that are watching. Not even. I usually get like 10. But um, it's the reason I'm doing this is because it's not clickbait. Um, no, it's not the end of the channel. Uh, I just. You know, I in this past year, you know, a lot of things have happened. Uh, it's personal things, not really good things. But you know, 2019 wasn't the year. It was a year of sorrow for me. I've re I lost a family member, and uh, you know, a lot has changed from then. And then now, you know, this this whole COVID thing that happened at the end of the year, and then we came in lockdown. I don't know, like March something much and um, you know uh, it's it's a lot has changed and unfortunately I, I was put in a circumstance where I have to be an adult now and I don't know what this means for the channel you know um, well obviously I'm still gonna teach magic Still gonna vlog, even though people say vlogging is dead. Um, Jared Poland thinks vlogging is dead, um, but I st still vlog. You know, vlogging is really good for me. But you know, uh, like I said, I was put it right now. I'm in a situation where I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do what I like anymore. It's I have a big responsibility now, and I don't know what this entails or details for me. Um, in the upcoming year, so I'm not. I'm obviously. I never post it frequently, regardless. Um, but I'm gonna post maybe once every two weeks, maybe even once a month. I, I have no idea. I have no clue. I wish I could do it daily. I might do it daily, but not fully edited. I I, I have no idea what what um, I'm gonna do. Honestly, I, it's a big change for me big change for all of us now this uh this movement that's going on black lives matter um everything is getting quite dangerous you know the protesting the looting and i have a family to take care of now and um i know i don't like talking about my personal things even with close friends but um recently you know I've met a person that I didn't know I had. Like, I had this a secret brother. I've known him for a year now. Um, oh, here's the story. Uh, my father left when I was four years old. And, uh, you know, he was with my mom and had me and whatever not. But apparently, we are two years apart. And we look very much alike. Yeah, we look very much alike. People say that we're twins, but we're not. Uh, just recently, not recently, like I told you, I met him last year. Um, but recently, we've been getting really close. So, um, I don't know how we look. We definitely look alike because we planned it. But in the beginning, I know we didn't look alike. I have 100% sure that we didn't look alike. Now we do. 
and there's been time there's actually twice that he took over my job at my job at FAO um, for those who don't know I worked at FAO not for the company I worked for another company in FAO but that whole team mem the whole team inside FAO the people that work there were awesome you know um, and some of them I got really close to so it's gonna be a surprise for you guys that know me well um, to you know learn that I actually have a twin brother but it's not my twin we're two years apart okay but he's my brother uh, almost everything same everything like recently I told him you know grow your, your thing out grow your hair out let's see how we look and we look a little bit alike the only problem is that he likes to tie his hair up a lot and um, I don't I leave my hair just how it is Oh, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the whole video. I wanted to make it 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes, just explaining uh, the whole situation. But um, you know, it is what it is. I know people's like, well, me, lose what it is. Piece of phrases, man. People are so sensitive nowadays, and um, you know. It's all right. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with being sensitive, but it's just like, come on, man, you're taking it to a different level of sensitivity, really. Um, sorry, my ADHD is acting up, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys, you know, understand. I am gonna put up a, a couple. I might put up a video uh, next week, some some day in the week. Um, I did a vlog with uh, my friend uh, Wilbert, Will, we call him Will, um, but he's a yo-yo guy, he's like, we call him yo-yo, well, I call him yo-yo master, or whatever name that comes into mind at the moment, uh, we got really close, he's from FAO, he also worked at FAO, uh, we did a vlog of him, well, I we were doing his trailer video, I'm getting off topic, oh my god. Um, we're doing this trailer video for him, for him doing yo-yos or whatnot. But I'm going to show you a video of that vlog-ish uh, next week. It's going to be rough because we didn't plan the vlog and I didn't vlog myself. But um, it's going to be up next week, so look out for that. Um, also want to be a shout out. Thanks to all my friends that have been hitting me up during um, this whole COVID thing. Because actually, I, I had COVID myself. Uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm clean now. I have antibodies for it. Um, so I'm immune to it. I hope I hope I did. That's what antibody means, right? Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank, thank you to all my friends. Thank you to everybody out there protesting for this uh, change because... You know, even though it's Black Lives Matter, it's literally all lives matter. Um, you know, if you're not lightly skin color, you are treated as a lower class, even though you're middle class. So, it's just a change we should have, and it is it is a toll we should be having, just not as crazy as it is right now, you know. Obviously, peaceful protesting and everything, but... Um, it, it, it is a tough situation right now, so, um, so that's pretty much it. I know I'm gonna, I keep saying that's pretty much it, but, um, you know, I just keep talking and talking. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, um, do all that good stuff, good, good greasy stuff, alright? Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot to introduce you to somebody, all right? Hold on, wait. Yo, bro, come here. What? Luis, come here. Come say goodbye to the subscribers. Alex, what is Luis doing? Playing with me. I'm playing Xbox with Alex. Just say goodbye to the people, son. Okay. Alright, fine. But I'm 
not professionally dressed, okay? Neither am I. Come on. Come on. Peace.